Um, the, the, the sort of hub that I'm going to be uh, working on through the Orphalus Center and in conjunction with um, security and context, um, it was a happy uh, coincidence that something that I'm obsessed with was also something that Omar and Samer and others uh, had the idea of. And so we came together and it's the legacies of the global war on terror. So um, the 20th anniversary of the war on terror is next September, September 2021. And one of the things that I'm interested in working on is really thinking comparatively um, and, and sort of trans um, historically about what is unique and what is not so unique about the U.S. global war on terror and how is it actually affected or drawn from uh, models of violence or models of legal struggle? Uh, from other parts of the world. Um, so uh, one of, I mean, at least in terms of, I mean, among the things we can think about, you know, the U.S., the two strategic cornerstones of um, the U.S. war on terror were first, torture, because they didn't know who they were fighting and they figured torture would be a good way to find terrorists. And then, um, you know, as a result of uh, years of litigation by U.S. lawyers challenging the U.S. torture policy, it finally, the government realized they couldn't keep on um, getting away with this. So in 2006, you know, the actual active practice of torturing people more or less tapers off, and it succeeded then by targeted killing, you know, extrajudicial execution. And that's been, um, one of the ways, at least through the Obama administration. So there's many ways we can think about how the legacies of the war on terror in all of its forms, beyond just um, violence and the law, those are my two particular interests, um, come to bear. Just, I'll give just one example. Um, you know, one of the locations where, and the lawyers involved in trying to prosecute the US officials responsible for torture, foremost former secretary of defense, Donald Rumsfeld, was in Germany. And it was like, you know, sort of German human rights lawyers teaming up with American human rights lawyers, unsuccessful because Donald Rumsfeld still walks free. Um, and so does Dick Cheney, but, you know, keep hope alive. Um, the, uh, you know, they, those, that same sort of legal configuration in Germany is now in the process of prosecuting Syrian torturers for the first time. So in some ways, the skills that these people develop to sort of build cases against, you know, people from a country as powerful as the United and secretive as the United States, you know, at least while well, they didn't get Rumsfeld, they are now going after some of the Syrian torturers. But we're particularly interested in, um, at least in in the hub at um, at the Orphalus and in conjunction with security and context, is really thinking sort of trans-regionally about Latin America, the Middle East, Europe, and the United States, and thinking about the different kinds of flows, influences, struggles, resistances, uh, discourses. So we're going to be planning, um, you know, this year, and anybody who's interested, please feel free to, uh, you know, reach out by email to me. Um, but we will be trying to you know, put together some programming, uh, public talks and other kinds of things and, and perhaps research papers um, to build up towards the 20th anniversary of uh, the start of the war on terror and continuing on next year. So anyway, it'll be a pleasure to work with all of you. Thank you.